Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Truth of Physics. Today I will discuss a very uh, important, interesting and enjoying topic. Uh, so please watch the video till the end. This will be very conceptual for you. Let's start this topic. Today our topic is motion in central force is confined to a plane. So assume a, a particle at point A. Uh, which is moving under a central force and we know the proper we know by the property of central force the central force f equals to f of r r cap where f of r is a function of r and what is r r is the distance between the particle a and the center o and r cap what is r cap r cap is the unit vector uh, directed along the line OA. So we have to calculate the torque on the particle at point A. So tau equals to R cross F of R R cap. As we know tau equals to R cross F and here F equals to F of R R cap. So tau equals to simply R vector cross F of R R cap. And this will become mod of R R cap cross f of r r cap. So you can see that these two vectors, the uh, direction of these two vectors is same. So the cross product will be zero. So torque, the exerted torque on the particle at point A is zero. So and as we know, tau equals to dl by dt. Tau equals to dl by dt, or tau equals to uh, the rate of change of the linear momentum dl by dt so this will equal to zero so from this we can uh, we can conclude that l is constant the vector l is constant or the linear momentum of the particle at point a is constant we know linear momentum l equals to r cross mv m is the mass of the particle at point a and v is the velocity of the particle at point A. So this will equal to R cross M R vector dot or simply D R vector by DT. As we know that V, the velocity of the particle is equal to D R vector by DT. So if we remove this cross product, so it will look like this m v r sin theta m cap, where theta is the angle between the r vector and the v vector. This is the angle theta. This is r and this is v. And what is m cap? m cap is the direction of the vector l. So from this, if l is constant, so this total value will be constant or the n cap the unit vector will also be constant so if we look here we can understand easily that l vector is perpendicular to both r vector and v vector so L vector is perpendicular to the plane containing R vector and V vector. Suppose this is the plane, this is the plane containing R vector and V vector. So L vector will be nothing but in this direction. Or uh, so L vector uh, is perpendicular to the plane containing R vector and V vector. Now, as we have discussed previously, that uh, n cap is constant. So as n cap is constant, so the plane perpendicular to L is a fixed plane. As suppose this is a constant vector. So a plane that is perpendicular to this vector will also be constant. As this as the direction of this vector is constant, so the plane will also be constant, which is perpendicular to this vector. And we have discussed from here. And the perpendicular uh, plane to the vector L uh, 
contains the r vector and v vector so i have written this and it is the plane the perpendicular plane it is the same plane which is containing the r vector and v vector so as a consequence we can write that the plane containing r vector and v vector is fixed so if r vector and v vector are fixed in a plane so you can easily understand that the motion of the body is confined to a plane now think that if v vector will not move in that plane so what happen now think that imagine that uh, this is r vector and this is v vector and this is the plane containing this is the plane containing these two vectors now if v this is v slightly change its direction that is this so what happens so you can see from this easily that uh, the product r cross mv uh, will be different even if the angle is still theta but then also uh, if we take a cross then the l vector will now be in that direction but previously it was in this direction and now the direction of l is in this direction so as the direction of l is different now so uh, the l vector is not constant now the l vector is not constant so as a, uh, so we can conclude that if v vector fails to move in the particular plane so l will not be constant and this will violate the first equation so uh, which i have discussed previously or this will violate the property of central force or if this happens so the force will not be central any more the force will not be a central force any more so as this is a central force so v vector the plane containing v vector and r vector should be the same and the motion uh, of the body in central force must be confined to a plane so thank you for watching i think the video is very enjoying and you can you have understood everything every concept very easily so if you really like this video so please like share and comment and subscribe my channel thank you for watching